You know, we've talked about how differences really are a key to mate selection, and we want somebody that's different than us. So you'll have lions, the take charge person, charge up the hill, and they'll tend to marry somebody that's that golden retriever that's very sensitive, very caring, very compassionate. Or you'll have the otters who are the fun, lovey, loving parties waiting to happen that are married to the beavers that want everything organized and precise and follow through. Well, how do you blend differences? For example, um, we, we need to understand that a lion person will tend to be aggressive when it comes to dealing with problems. So the first thing that we face when we're opposites is how do we deal with problems? Well, if you're a lion, how are you going to deal with them? Pretty aggressively, right? What happens if you're a golden retriever? Well, they tend to step away from problems. But let me ask you a question. This is hugely important. What's the right thing to do when a problem comes up? Is it to step toward it or to step away from it? Well, it depends on the problem. And what I'm getting at is, is no wonder Almighty God places us with somebody that's different than us. Because in some cases, we want somebody that's going to be an aggressive problem solver. But you can't solve every problem aggressively. Because if you do, what will happen? You know, you can compound the problem. But then again, some problems are best solved by really taking a step back, thinking about it. So in each case, Whatever our unique strengths are, I'm convinced God has placed us with an opposite because they can not frustrate us, but actually lead us to fulfillment.